children our future Teach them well and let them lead the way Show them all the beauty they possess inside Give them a sense of pride To make it easier Let the children's laughter Remind us how we used to be Everybody's searching for a hero People need someone to look up to Never found anyone to fulfill my need A lonely place to be So I learned to depend on Thank you for all your, your stunning messages. It's challenging to know how to deal with them. The ego is such a tricky beast. On the one hand, it can fool me into illusions of grandeur, which I counteract by reminding myself that no matter how many thousands of views our vids attract, my poo, literal and figurative, smells just as bad as anybody else's. See my video on Leonardo DiCaprio on my channel. The other thing the ego does to try and discard the compliments using my harsh inner critic. This is in a way dishonouring of the beautiful people who wrote these messages and I'm doing my best to let them into my heart, bypassing my ego. For those of you who have called me a hero, let me say that I don't feel like a hero. For me, heroes are people that have endured great pain, physical, spiritual, emotional, and come through. In fact, some of you who have messaged me fall into that category. Thankfully, I have never had to endure such things. Heroes are also people who have managed to create deeply peaceful homes, and I'm still working on that. I'm a normal human being, still very afraid. Afraid of dentists, afraid of illness, afraid of death. And I'm feeling a little afraid of where these videos are taking me, and what dark forces are being attracted to us. 
it seems that when light is brought out, the darkness is attracted. I felt I wanted to respond to Charlie's video, A Message to the Resistance. In it, he speaks about the good fight, about the armed resistance in the USA. The general tone of the video is a major departure from the tone and energy of our work thus far. It is interesting that this particular video provoked the highest number of comments by far. This is Charlie's channel and he's free to express his views in any way he wishes. However, I feel that he was being a bit reckless with his video. Don't get me wrong, I think it's utterly ridiculous that some lone kid talking about armed resistance could be targeted by the powers that be, when Tony Blair or any other politician can happily actually order thousands of kids to go and kill and maim strangers far away without fear of repercussions. As far as I know, Charlie hasn't got any army at his fingertips. I personally believe that anyone should be able to say anything, even if it could be construed as inciting to violence. I was brought up as an Orthodox Jew and my wife's grandmother's family were wiped out in the Holocaust, but I still believe it should not be a crime to deny the Holocaust. I get the most vicious, hateful, anti-Semitic emails from a certain guy in the USA every week. I don't intend to report him for it, let him say what he wants. But we live in a different type of world at the moment and Charlie's video felt like a reckless departure. I'm not saying he's wrong or right. I'm just not there. I'm not fighting any fight. That language doesn't fit for me. I wouldn't know what to do with a gun if you gave me one. I feel that my gift is in imparting important ideas in a comedic and challenging way. And I think that is what attracted so many of his subscribers, some of whom felt cheated by this departure. I personally am unsure about most things, if not everything. I have no answers to the big questions. I have a book at home called The Questions to Life's Answers, which sums up where I am currently. Lots of questions, not many answers. I don't fully understand the New World Order theories. I'm not convinced that they're all true. I don't know who's providing this information. I think people like Alex Jones may be unknowingly a part of the problem because he's creating self-fulfilling prophecies doing the very work he's trying to combat. He seems to be adding to the fear, not the love. So to those who say, and to those who say only peaceful resistance, I ask, how can we overcome the overwhelming violence being used by those in power? Would we be able to overcome Hitler with love and peace? And to those who advocate violence in resistance to the new world order, I ask A, how on earth will you prevail over those who have nuclear weapons at their disposal? And B, can you really put out fire with fire? So part of my intention with the videos is to encourage myself and others to keep on asking questions. My kids ask questions non-stop. Like us all, they were born full of curiosity. One of the crazy results of this conditioning we receive is that we are distracted so much that stops us asking many important questions anymore. Unless we are religious, in which case we may well ask them, but we don't allow ourselves to openly explore without limitation of dogma. So to the odd policeman that watches these videos and actually gets what we are doing, I encourage you to ask questions about what you are being told to do and why. Several policemen have asked me, what group or movement do you belong to? They're dying to put me in a box. Well, I know it may be hard to accept, but I only belong to one group. It's called humanity, and you're part of it. I'm not part of any other group and do not intend to be. I do not want to start a movement, although I would be delighted if people started going out on the streets with thought-provoking signs. But that would be an independent move on their parts. Even my association with Charlie is a loose one. Neither of us tells the other what to do. We just met and decided to make videos, and we may or may not continue. In fact, Charlie's filming me right now, and this speech which is challenging his video. So I distance myself from your videos, Charlie. This particular video, a message to the resistance. Partly because I'm frightened that with it, you may be giving the powers that be that little bit of ammunition they look for to start on you. And I personally do not want to go through that sort of confrontation. I'm still in a period of working on healing my voice, during which I will meditate on where to go with this next. In the meantime, I hope that the world megaphone industry is being boosted and that lots of you guys will surprise yourselves about how exhilarating it is to go on the streets with a megaphone. Love and lots and lots of hugs.